I think that the reason why I haven't been sued again is based upon what happened with, you know, the people who who sued me and then the FTC launching lawsuits against them. And then additionally, with the other person just completely getting beat down and then countersued. Um, so I think that once, as I said before, most of the cases or a decent, let's even if it's 50 percent of the cases are going to be frivolous. I definitely do not believe that CoffeeZilla would be sued. Um, for the primary reason that he has so much goodwill built up in the community that it really, in my opinion, doesn't necessarily make sense for him to have insurance. And I know that that might sound blasphemous, but like, hear me out for a second. Remember that insurance companies, they make money by collecting your premium. They don't make money by paying out claims. You know, it's very similar to if there's been like a hurricane or an earthquake, I'm sure that you can Google like insurance insurance payouts like during those hurricanes and in fact even today on google i saw something where there was a hurricane in florida and people are very upset about the payouts and they're getting stiffed by their insurance company so and then there might be like other contingencies in there where if the court finds that you made the remarks with like negligence then maybe they're not going to cover you at all or maybe you know maybe they're not going to to support you like you just don't know you have to read the policy very quickly but Insurance companies, I think that Stephen from CoffeeZilla is actually potentially at risk because the the insurance company, they're going to hire the attorney and they might pressure the attorney to settle the case from the very beginning at less than advantageous terms. And I think that that's a big risk. And I think that someone like, like uh, CoffeeZilla, who has a huge audience, he could easily raise donations. I, I believe that he, you know, he's probably relatively wealthy and, and he deserves it because he's done an amazing job and he has a very valuable channel. Like money isn't bad. You know, it's just that money accentuates the person that you are at your core. So if you're a good person, then you can do more good with money because you have more ability. If you're a bad person and you have like sociopathic tendencies or you want to take advantage of people, then having money just gives you more ability to do that. So I think that with Steven, um, one, the fact that I haven't seen any videos from him that I perceived to be, um, you know, defamatory. You know, he's very well researched and, you know, he always um, he always mentions things like alleged or like in my opinion, et cetera. But I also think that it's actually a risk for him to get to get insurance because he if he gets a bad lawyer, then that could severely cripple his case. And I'm sure that people would um, would donate to him for his like GoFundMe in order to raise the necessary funds to to um to defend himself but regarding what you were saying about the risk being higher now i i don't think it's higher i think that um basically if if they sue you and if you believe that that the case is frivolous then the reason why they've initiated that case is because they believe that you're unable to defend to defend yourself and if you show that you are able to defend yourself, then you're not going to be a target anymore. And I think that that's one of the issues. And you know, just to briefly, and then we can get more into the Spencer Cornelia case later. But I think that Spencer is actually making a big mistake because I read one of his comments under your video where it said something like, oh, it's, um, it's destroying my life. And then he mentioned that if they sued you, like you would have to prove that you did it without malice. Like that's actually incorrect. Like, um, oh yeah, he when he t- yeah he told me that if Masterworks sued me, yeah, yeah, he was I mean, talking that, about Masterworks could sue me and they'd win and all that. Yeah, yeah, I mean that that's not true. Like with, with um, well, I mean again, like I'm only referring to like his specific comment. So mm-hmm. in his comment, he said that you would have to show that you did that you made the the claims or you made the the statements without malice well yeah. malice only comes into play if the person is a public figure or a limited person public figure so someone like logan paul who's kind of like a celebrity or someone who might be like have a huge audience within their specific niche you can then ask the judge to label them or to establish them as a limited person public figure because maybe they have like a million followers or a million subscribers on YouTube in like the day trading space. So therefore, if the judge believes that they're an authority or they're like a limited pur- purpose public figure, then the plaintiff, so not not you as a defendant, the plaintiff 
mm-hmm. actually has a higher ground to prove that your statements were actually defamatory. You would, ha- they would have to prove that what you said was made with malice. So, and, and Masterworks is a company. Um, it's not, you know, a public figure or anything like that. So, I mean, he, he was off about that. But the other thing is, um, I think that with Spencer, by him saying that, and I went through the docket, and I actually don't believe that his case is, is that the case against him is frivolous at all. Now, going back to what I said before, I think it's important when looking at people to look at their intentions. And I truly believe that Spencer is a good person with good intentions. I know that he made some mistakes with FTX and he probably felt I, I'm, I've never spoken to him. So I don't know. I don't know him. But, you know, he, he's probably friends with those people from FTX. And I think mm-hmm. he was part of like that agency creators agency where he's <laughs> yeah. like, that he can't say anything bad about them. Yeah. So my gut feeling is he probably felt incredibly conflicted. And I'm not saying that people should should like give him a pass or anything like that. But what I am saying is that it's really important not to like label people like black, you know, like black and white, like good or bad. Like there's a gray area. And look at the total body of work. You know, I, I think like Tupac said something where um, he said like that he wants to be judged by his actions fully. You know, so don't just take like a moment in time where, you know, Tupac was like put in, in, in prison by like a, and he like, want, he said something to the judge and the judge wouldn't even like look at him, you know, and he was put into like Clinton Correctional Facility. Like you yeah. don't want to judge or someone like Mike Tyson where, you know, his daughter died in um, from like a treadmill accident and then he spent time in prison, but he's rehabbed his image and he's a, a, a very, very valuable member of society. So I think that it's very important not to judge someone just by like this, by, by like their worst times. And I think that with Spencer, you know, overall, I, I do feel for him because I think that he's a valuable member of the community and I think that he means well. But just because you mean well doesn't mean that, that you're going to be perfect. It's human to make a lot of mistakes. Nobody's perfect. And if you think that, then you just you just don't know about like the other things that they've done where. You know, they were fortunate where they never got in trouble, you know, but I think that Spencer, what he's, in my opinion, what he's doing wrong is I think that by writing stuff like, oh, it ruined my life, um, then that that really like makes him a bigger target because if I'm reading that, then many other people are reading that and he has people that don't like him because he made videos about them. And the worst thing that, that could possibly happen is that he is sued and then he loses. Because if that happens, then, I mean, it makes him a big target in the future. Interesting. And that's, that's, yeah, go ahead. And, 